have a big selection of big house plants in here. Usually they're a good price. I've gotten plants here in the past. So that's new. I didn't see that the last time I was here. $1.45 for strawberries. It's a super great price. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Their Honeycrisp apples are $2.99 a bag right now. So I'm gonna grab three since they last a while in the refrigerator. So you guys know I make a lot of breakfast sandwiches and these are marked to $1.19 right now, which is such a good price. So I'm going to grab probably about six of these and throw them in the freezer. That way the next time I prep a bunch of breakfast sandwiches, I have these. No, they're not gluten-free. A lot of my stuff I make is gluten-free, but not everyone in our family needs gluten-free. So I'm gonna snag these while they're here. Okay, so here's something that's super similar to the brand name and that is the Sweet Baby Rays. We love this one, but this is the Aldi brand and right now they're $1.29 a bottle compared to $2.98. So I'm actually gonna grab this whole box while I'm here. Another thing that we've been out of is the yellow mustard and they are 95 cents a bottle here. So I'm gonna get six of these. Told you guys it's a big stock up day and I haven't done this in probably at least six months. So it's time to get a lot of things restocked in my food storage. Another thing that is such a good price here is the organic ketchup. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get a whole case of that as well. So I almost picked this up, but realized that I can get bigger bottles of this at a better price, I believe at Walmart. So that's something to keep in mind, depending on what size bottles you're looking for. You may be able to find something that has a larger bottle. Now this here is their brand. Actually, I didn't really notice this. This is a very good price. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these. Um, we have gotten them before, so I think I'm gonna get about four of these. In the stage of life I am in right now, I have a big goal to stay consistent with exercising regularly, and I found a great tool that's going to help me accomplish this goal. This tool to help me stay consistent is Trainwell. It is a unique app, and it's also the sponsor of today's video. As a busy mom of three that works from home, my schedule is constantly packed and I've really wanted to take on a personal trainer for quite some time, but living in a more remote area and obviously being very busy with those things in my life has made that kind of difficult. Trainwell is making the goal of having a personal trainer possible for me because I am able to do it over my phone and with this great app. Having a trainer and someone that I can talk to really helps me stay consistent. And so knowing that I can get all of this right from my home is huge. With the Trainwell app, I can track my consistency as well as get personalized workouts that I don't have to think of on my own. They're gonna give them to me to accomplish my goals of getting active and just staying healthy for my family and the lifestyle I want to live. Trainwell has given me a link that you can find in the description box below to give you a 14 day free trial with your own expert trainer. I am so excited to dive into this journey. You guys can come along with me and I know that you are going to enjoy this tool as much as I do, that you are able to have a trainer from your home. I've talked about this before, but this is the only ranch that we like. <laughs> and I have tried so many other branches and this is the one that our family likes. Um, I do sometimes get this size, but this is the better price per ounce. They are $3.45 for the big ones and even at the sale price of $1.89 for the small ones, this is still a better price per ounce. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these as well. Nuts are something I have bought for years at Aldi. They generally beat out Costco and anywhere else. Um, so these here are actually marked down. They're marked down 10 cents than what they were. And so I'm just gonna get two of them. Um, I use them in party mixes and obviously just for snacks. And sometimes I put them into like fried rice too, do like a peanut fried, fried rice. Um, I like these because they don't have added sugar. Those down there do. Um, and they have different versions of this as well. They are both marked down though. So as you can see, even these are 
marked down. So if you like that type, you may enjoy those. And then cashews is something else that we snack on in our house just as a healthy snack. And these are marked down about 10 cents right now as well. I'm not gonna pick them up today, but um, they are something that's still a really good price here. See, you can even get the big guys of the cashews and they're marked down as well. This is one thing I'm really excited to see is marked down. So it is marked 24 cents off a bag, which is awesome. This is one of our favorite chips. But one thing I will say through years of buying things in bulk and buying cases of things and whatnot, whoopsie, <laughs> is that these do go stale even in their bags. So keeping them beyond a month or so they're gonna go stale. So I'm only gonna pick up about two bags because we do have some other tortilla chips at home. But keep that in mind, even if you see them at a good price, they don't last very long in storage. I love, love, love their feta cheese here. And it's a very good price and it lasts a long time in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those. This is something I like to keep stocked up. You always can find a recipe you're trying to look through your refrigerator for something with cheese, whether it's mozzarella or cheddar. And I also like to use their cheddar. I do have some at home, so I'm gonna grab two of those, but it's just kind of a great um, thing to have on hand constantly because I can put together omelets, I can put together um, a salad. It goes on top of lots of different casseroles that you might have the other ingredients too. These are actually some of our favorites and they're on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a couple packs. They freeze really well since they're already vacuum packed. Um, I'm gonna get, I think, three packs of these and they're just a good, they have very good flavor. Good on a bun, good chopped up in a stir fry. It's really delicious. I do go between Costco and here to get my maple syrup if I'm not getting it locally. And right now I don't have any locally, but it's great to see that it is 50 cents off. I almost said 50%, 50 cents off right now. So that's a pretty good saving. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of these um, just because we use it in meat marinades and of course on pancakes and things like that. But my husband likes to use it a lot in marinades. So we try to keep this around since he does a lot of the cooking of our meat in our household. I'm in the specialty aisle and they have these cute cleaning brushes. I just love the wooden handles on these. And they have a mismatch of a lot of different things. I, my guess is they're getting closer to getting a shipment in for like Thanksgiving, Black Friday type holiday shopping type stuff because it seems to be a big mismatch and they're also getting rid of stuff that was in the summer line. Oh, this is really a cool warmer. I love that. And then they have a lot of stuff that I think that is geared towards dorm rooms and um, back to school type things. And I am seeing some little pieces of fall coming out here. There is some candles. I may have to get myself one of these. I love their candles. This one is cedar oak wood. Oh, it smells really, really nice. And they have an apple harvest. And I wonder what this one is back here. Ooh, pumpkin cream cookie. Oh, I'm gonna guess this is the one for me. I love anything vanilla. Oh yes, that's delicious. That one's coming home with me for sure because they are $4.49 and that is such a great price. They also have these that have wooden lids. These are $6.99, but they are so cute. Love those. They've got some glass little pumpkins and then they also have some ceramic pumpkins as well. I'm so excited for the season to come around. These little bun pans and spring load or spring form pans are so cute through the holidays. These would be fun for like appetizers and um, even charcuterie boards if you wanted to make a small bunt cake to go on something like that. They're only $4.99. They have an entire section of fall inspired things that are just so cute. We've got the little wafer rolls 
these are little chocolates that look like apples or pumpkins. We've got yogurt covered pretzels up here. I'm so excited. This reminds me a lot of um, Trader Joe's when they have all of their seasonal stuff. So we've got maple kettle corn, pumpkin spice kettle corn, pumpkin pasta sauce. Here we've got, ooh, these are really cute. See, they top off your mug. Those are adorable. I might have to grab a pack of them. Let's see how much they are. They're $2.99. I'm gonna get these to make some fun drinks for my daughters. They will enjoy that. And then they have pumpkin biscotti as well. Something we are actually out of is coconut oil. And right now it is discounted a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab probably two of these. Um, it's not something I use heavily, but we do use it even in just like self care. Um, as like a hair mask or to put on essential oils as a carrier oil. So I, since I'm out of it, I'm just gonna get some while I'm here. I have been running low on butter and so I'm going to go ahead and get about four blocks while I'm here. Um, this is a pretty good price. I have found it better, a better price at some of our local bulk food stores. So I'm just gonna get a few now and maybe I'll find a better price and buy a case sometime soon when I find it. <laughs> and we have a barbecue happening this weekend, like I said, so I think I'm gonna make a dessert with the cream cheese. I'm gonna get some of that while I'm here because it's a great price at 175. Along with Aldi having our favorite ranch, they also have our favorite almond milk. And so when I can, I actually usually grab a case of this. So I'm gonna take this case of six and I put some of them in our extra refrigerator and we can be stocked up for a while. At 79 or 97, 97 cents, this is such a great price for peas. And this is a staple in our house that we are out of right now. So I'm gonna probably grab six to eight bags. Okay, so we are back. I'm ready to put a lot of stuff in the freezer, put things in my storage cellar, and just get stuff kind of organized. It feels so good to be restocked on so many things that we have been out of, and I've been just like limping along, grabbing little bits here and there, grabbing a ketchup, all of that, but ultimately, if I can get it at a good price, I'm saving so much money and time by getting it in a bulk, at the same spot and not having to remember to pick it up every single time I go to town or every single week. Um, I've been a big bulk food shopper in the past. I kind of got away from it in the last six months or so and I'm slowly inching my way back to doing it again because it just saves me so much time. But I wanted to show you a couple of my really fun finds um, that were in the fall section. So I did get the pumpkin cream cookie and this just smells, oh, it just smells like a fall baked good that is baking in the house or something. It smells so delicious. I also picked up this terracotta pumpkin. I am someone that really, really loves a very natural look to or organic look to my decor. And so a lot of ceramic pumpkins, if they're shiny and that sort of thing, I'm not as quick to gravitate towards them, but this one just looked really organic and really cute. I'm excited I might put it up here on my shelf. I'm getting ready to do all of that decorating, which you might have seen on my other channel by the time this video goes out. And then I also got this really cute, I feel like I need to come a little bit closer so you can see it. It is like a vase type of a thing, a bud vase, I guess is what they call it. There was lots of different shapes. They had mushrooms and other things. This one's an acorn, so basically you just put like one small floral clipping in there. I just think it's so precious. I'm so excited to use that somewhere in my house. And I think for the most part, you saw everything else that I picked up. We did also stop at a local market um, to pick up a few things for the dessert that I'm going to show you all once I get this put away, how to whip up. It's so simple, but it's one of our absolute top five favorite desserts ever. And it will be a showstopper at any barbecue, family gathering, Thanksgiving, anytime. Whoa, 
losing the cookies. At least they didn't break too badly, but these are those cookies that hook on to the mugs. I think I showed you guys these in the store. Um, but yes, will be a showstopper anytime, any place with any crowd if they like peaches. They are so good and we are still getting peaches locally. Um, and so that's what I picked up from one of the local markets along with a few other things. So we're gonna get this all put away. I'm gonna have my girls come in and help take things downstairs to our chest freezers and put things on our shelves in our food cellar. This has become a dessert that I have to make every peach season. Uh, a good friend of mine brought this dessert to our house one time and I told her I had to have the recipe and now it's something that my husband actually requests. It's so good. Anytime I take this to a friends or family event, everybody raves about it. And one of the keys is having fresh peaches. You could also use home canned peaches as well, but the fresh peaches just really pushes it over the top. So the bottom layer, this is a layered dessert, is a combination of graham crackers and brown sugar and some butter. And I will leave the exact recipe with all the measurements in the description box below for you all because you're gonna wanna make this. Oh, so good. So I actually discovered not long ago that I can use my food processor to make this entire dessert. And it really just makes it super simple and I'm able to use it to make the different layers. So we're going to take and press this crust-like layer in the bottom of the pan. And you're gonna see that I actually have two different types of pans here. And that's because I am making one for our barbecue, but I'm also making one for our neighbor family as well. And I wanna encourage you all to do that. I personally am trying to get into the habit of doing that more often, where I am, if I'm making a casserole for dinner, why not make a second one for someone else? It blesses someone so much and brightens their day to just give them that little act of kindness even if it's something they can't eat, maybe you got a allergy wrong or something, even if it's not the most perfect dessert, maybe it's their not their but you know favorite flavor food, it's not their favorite soup or something like that, they will find someone to eat it and it's the act of doing it, the act of kindness and reaching out to someone else that is so missing in our world today. So I encourage you the next time you are cooking or baking, to take and make a second one or make a second batch of cookies and take a plate full to a neighbor or someone maybe in your church community, maybe it's someone in your school community, maybe it's just someone that you vaguely know but you know where their doorstep is that you can drop it off with a little um, encouraging note to brighten their day. So the middle portion of this dessert is a cream cheese mixture. So all you're gonna do is mix some whipped cream with some cream cheese, a little bit of powdered sugar. I like to get the powdered cane sugar from Azure Standard when I can. And then a little bit of vanilla. And I actually switched the paddle um, from the blade in the center of the food processor. It's not a blade, it's actually a dough mixing paddle, but it works perfectly to whip together this whipped cream creaminess. So once all of those ingredients are whipped together, you wanna gently put the whipped cream portion in to the pan and spread it out very, very gently because if you are too quick to do this, you're going to end up with a lot of the graham crusty part mixed through the white part, so you wanna do it very gingerly. And at this point, I put everything in the refrigerator while I prepare 
the top portion, which is actually kind of two parts. So we're going to peel up our peaches and we're going to cut them into nice little bite-sized pieces. I like to think of about the size I would cut them up to put in my daughter's granola um, or you know just really small nice bite-sized pieces. You're gonna need four cups per recipe. So this day I had to cut up eight cups worth of small diced peaches and these were so ripe and ready to go just delicious you could use white peaches as well but i just think that the yellow peach really gives the iconic peach look to this dessert another quick tip is to definitely pick up freestone peaches when you can um, if you don't i've made that mistake before when i was canning peaches I picked up peaches that were not free stone and they are terrible to get off of the stone in the middle of the peach. Um, these are free stone and they just come off of the stone very easily. So once I have all the peaches cut up, I pull the pan out of the refrigerator and you're just gonna lay them all out in a nice even layer over the cream cheese middle center. Um, this is referred to as peach delight I know that there is also other fruits that you can pretty much do the same style dessert with and it always ends up so refreshing and so delicious. So now we're going to make the jelly type portion, not jello, jelly <laughs> type um, stuff that's gonna go on top of those peaches. So you're gonna start out with some water and I use cane sugar and then a little bit of lemon juice and I'm going to let that sugar just dissolve very nicely. We have a portion of water that's going to be set aside, but you're gonna add clear gel too. And I will leave this linked below. This is something very common in a lot of Mennonite and Amish stores in our area, but I know it's not something you can just get at any store. So I did find it on Amazon and I've ordered it. That's where that bag came from so that you can order it too. So we are going to mix that with cold water first because it will clump otherwise. And then we're gonna mix that in to the hot water. And then you can use any flavor jello you want to. I obviously got peach because I have peaches, but you know some people will even use lemon with the peaches. You could do that. If you're using a different type of fruit, you may wanna use a different um, jello flavor. And basically, if you've never heard of clear gel, it pretty much creates more of a runny jelly type texture instead of setting up fully like Jell-O does. So once that's cooled down a bit, you don't wanna dump this on hot, but once it's cooled down, you dump it over top of the peach um, layer and you have a beautiful dish to take with you to any gathering and one that everyone is going to want to dig into as soon as they see it. It's just so yummy. So to create a nice little gift to give to my neighbors, I pulled out a little package that I have. It's like a notepad that you can fold the papers into its own envelope and it has little stickers that you can put a sticker on the back. So I just wrote them a nice little note and put that together for my daughters to carry over to our neighbor family. If you missed my last meal prep, you can check that out here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and I will see you all in my next video.